feels amazing to go to the Olympics again. We've waited five years for it this time and it only yeah, woke up the fire even more inside me. So I'm super excited to go. I would say I already knew that I would go quite a bit ago because um, in Belgium it's mostly important to yeah, have a really good ranking and if you can have your own place in the ranking that's when basically you know you can go because we have Jelle and me who are uh, fa quite far in front of, of the other guys who are mostly younger than us. Uh, so yeah it's already been clear for like two years which gave me some peace of mind to really build towards this, this peak race that's gonna be the Olympics. Yeah, this Olympics is gonna feel very different to my first one in, in Rio because in Rio I actually really had to battle to make my way to the Olympics. Like, I wasn't sure until the Olympic points closed that I could go. So I knew in May that I could go to the Olympics and like I said, this time I had a, a really good preparation that I knew I can go and I can really fully concentrate on getting a good performance. Yeah, the pandemic for me was really uh, about finding the love of the sport again and like what I really like to do is just train as much as I can and lay in the evening in my bed when I'm just super tired from it and that's what I love so I did some really long rides, I did some really long runs which yeah, in my normal strict schedule I can't really fit them in so I've done a 350k ride, that's my record now and uh, a marathon on the run so some, some longer distances. Yeah, after coming 16 in Rio, my expectations for this time are, are pretty high. I want to do better than sixth place and I'm gonna be honest, I don't want to end fifth or fourth. So yeah, I'm really aiming for the medals and I think the last couple of years I really tried everything and I did my best to yeah, do every session correct. So I, I did everything and I think I have a chance, but it's for sure not gonna be easy. I'm gonna be first, of course. No, uh, I hope for a medal and, and then I would already be very happy. And otherwise I would be very happy with the, the process I already did in the past years towards these Olympics. So I'm gonna be happy anyway. Not annoyed at all because now with the relay, we have another chance. So I'm hoping he does really well as well, but obviously I want to beat him, but it would be amazing for our country, Belgium, to to have a medal anyway. Yeah, I think for the team relay with Belgium, we have a super strong team now. We have two men and two women who are competing on the world level. Uh, it's something that it's quite special for a small country like us. And I think we're for sure not one of the favorites, but we've been really growing and finally we're all healthy. So I think we have a, a decent shot at, yeah, who knows, maybe even the medals if, if everything goes right on the day. Um, so yeah, I think Belgium can end very high. Yeah, for sure, it's not easy to prepare for a race like Tokyo because the humidity and the heat is yeah, something I had never experienced before going there, to be honest. Um, it's super hard and yeah, now the, the last weeks before the race, it's, it's about preparing for that. So I've been doing some hot baths, which it sounds fun, like uh, you're in a hot bath with some nice soapy, soapy flavors, but uh, it's actually super, super hard. It's maybe harder than all the other sessions I've done. Uh, so just yeah, 30 minutes in a bath above 40 degrees and yeah, now it will start getting more specific. We're going down to Bagnoles and then uh, trying to go to, um, to Mito, uh, that's our base with the Belgium team, uh, to really prepare the, the heat. Yeah, I think for sure my fellow Belgian Jelle. Uh, and I think a couple other guys who've been really on fire in the beginning of this year, like the Norwegians or Alex Yee, Morgan Pearson. Uh, but also I think yeah, Vincent Lewis, we, we haven't really heard of him like we heard of him the last years, but I think on the day he's going to be there and he's going to be ready to, uh, to really go for the medal. So I think there is actually a lot of competitors who have a chance for the medal. So it's not going to be easy to keep them all under control. 
yeah, I would say that training, training with Joel's group, training with many of the best athletes in the world, you kind of always know where you're at. You, yeah, you can't hide uh, your your stats. If you want, you can say what your watts are or something like that. But uh, but yeah, you'll know if you get dropped on the on the bike or if you get dropped on the run. Uh, so it's always really good. You know where you're at. Um, but yeah, for sure, I know that all the boys are in very good shape. So I'm gonna have to watch uh, watch the guys from my squad more than maybe all the others. I'm I'm pretty confident in my run. Actually, I think the the two races this year were very important for me for that. The two World Series that we've already done in Yokohama and in Leeds. Um, they were not my perfect scenario. I was always thinking like, oh, I need to come off the bike with a small group. But for me, it was very important to finally feel that even if it's more of a running race, uh, it, two times we had a pretty big pack that I was once in the medals in Leeds and once very close to the medals in Yokohama. So yeah, I'm pretty confident in my run as well, but I still hope that we're gonna have a breakaway, of course.